It says in the prophet Isaiah, Every Jew has a share of the world to come. But it also continues and it says, All of your nations are righteous, meaning the righteous people have a share of the world to come. So what happens to the share of the world to come of the people that are not righteous? The people that are not keeping Shabbat? What happens to it? There's a share somewhere. It's a share. It's a spiritual share. It's it's somewhere. Where, what happens to it? Okay, so the guy is not going to keep Shabbat. He's not going to keep Tarat Mishpacha. He's not going to be a kosher Jew. So he's not going to get this share. He's going to go up there and say, I'm sorry. You have a different entrance. Sorry. So what happens to that Olam Abba? The Chachamim say that since we have to do something with the share. That share goes to the person that tried to help him do tshuva. So if you try to help somebody do tshuva and they don't listen to you, you inherit their Olam Abba. You just inherited the bigger part of Olam Abba. Meaning that either way you win, if they don't listen to you, they don't want to listen, you get their Olam Abba. If they do listen to you, you have 310 Olam Abbas. For every Jew, you get to do tshuva, you get 310 worlds. Based on the Mila Yesh. Yesh, Gimatria, 310. So, Hashem says, I have, Yesh, Yesh Li, I have a big reward to give. What's this big reward, Chachamim say? The reward for people that do Kiruv. What do you get? What's How much is this reward? 310 worlds. So, if you if he doesn't listen, you get one world, which is good. But you better go get to 310. It's much better. So the point is, is that either way you win for doing kiyu. Either way, there's no lose. Also remember, the Lubavitcher Rebbe, Allah Shalom, said something very important when someone asked him, what if people don't want to listen? I go, I try, he doesn't want to listen. He said to them, listen, imagine you have a roommate. And your roommate one day comes home and he's really, really upset for no reason. And he says to you, listen, I'm really tired. No matter what, don't wake me up. You don't exactly like the way he's talking to you. And you say some things in your heart that maybe you're going to regret later on, but you just leave the house. Once you get downstairs, you start smelling smoke. You smell fire. And you realize the building is on fire. You run upstairs and you wake up your friend. But the friend told you what? Don't wake me up. Now once he wakes up, and he realizes that he's surrounded by fire and you just saved his life. Is he upset at you? Obviously not. Unless he's insane and suicidal. Obviously not. Why? Because you saved his life. He says that is a person without Torah. Without Torah, he's sleeping. So he's upset at you and he's upset at the world and he's upset. He doesn't even know why. But once you wake him up and finally after annoying him enough times with the CD and the lecture and the text message and the Facebook and the Twitter and the email and the pamphlet and the newsletter, constantly bringing him to the shiur and taking him back and you constantly day after day for a year after year, you constantly annoy him to do tshuva. When he finally wakes up, what do you think he's going to hate you? No. He's going to tell you, said you saved my life. How? Because you're annoying him. He said, Baruch Hashem. Constantly see your lectures online. It's so annoying, I had to watch them. Now I did tshuva. Sometimes you have to be annoying. Why? Because you're trying to save lives, Labotai. You're not trying to be popular. I'm not looking for fans. I care less if you dislike me. I just want you to listen to what Hashem says. And that's what you have to look at. Don't worry about they like you, don't like you. They're going to listen, don't listen. You just care about be the messenger. If we don't do kiru, there won't be anyone to save by the Mashiach. So it's an obligation, not just because you're doing tshuva, not because you owe this to your people, but because you owe this to your Father in Heaven. You owe this to Hashem Itbarach.